We have a health alert tonight as doctors warn of a particularly nasty flu season. It's already ravaging college campuses across the country, including Miami University. Local 12's Luke Jones is live at UC, one of the few schools requiring flu vaccines this year. Luke. And that requirement's been in place for less than a year, but this year it could really pay off, when you, especially when you look at what's happening up at Miami University. So far, 174 flu cases, one student ill in the hospital, and tonight doctors recommending that if you haven't done so already, you go out right now and get that flu shot. <coughs> it kind of caught us a little off guard. When flu season began in October, the staff at Hart Pharmacy wasn't prepared for all the vaccine requests they were getting. We're at least 25% more than we were going back two years. And doctors say that's a good thing, especially this year. Just today, the Butler County Health Department confirmed 174 flu cases at Miami University. One of its students got so sick, he or she had to go to the hospital. Influenza, like any respiratory virus, can certainly have an outbreak when there's close proximity. Turning classrooms and dorms into potential breeding grounds. The state health department reports just a 1.5% flu positivity rate for Southwest Ohio. But what really concerns Dr. Stephen Fagans with Murthy Health is the type of flu doctors are seeing. This year, H3N2 is the dominant strain. The last time that happened in 2017, flu sent almost 80,000 people to their deaths and close to a million people to the hospital nationwide. What's concerning is that would be on top of a continued um, plateau, if not slightly increasing cases again, of um, COVID-19. But there's one silver lining. All the interest in COVID vaccines may be drumming up interest in flu shots. We definitely have seen some people who, you know, sort of just casually ask, can I get the flu shot while I'm here? And here's a simple way to protect yourself. Doctors say these face masks work just as well for flu as they do for COVID. Live tonight on the UC campus, Luke Jones, Local 12 News. Good point. Thanks, Luke. And we should note the Miami University student who was hospitalized had underlying health conditions, according to the school.